Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. Uh, so we got this Road King in. Uh, client had the install done at one of the rallies. Uh, the bike was pretty loud, but it had no bass, so he really couldn't enjoy his music. So he reached out to me and scheduled an appointment to do uh, mid-bass drivers in the bike. He already had the DD Audio cutting kit. So we reused that, convinced him to go with a woofer that had more mid-bass. So we went with the Cicada mid-bass. While we had the bike in here, we did a Braille G30H lithium battery. We did a Sound Digital 800.4 bridge to drive the 8-inch mid-bass drivers. We kept the Rockford 400 amp that he had, driving the Diamond Audio MP694 six mines and 654 mid-range speakers. So the bike did not have a DSP, so we added a uh, we added a Diamond Audio Mini DSP. We originally were planning to stream the audio through the Diamond Audio DSP, but the Bluetooth input just wouldn't give us enough gain to make to maximize the input of the amplifier, so we couldn't get it to play loud enough. So we kept the, the Diamond Audio DSP in, but we used a um, Pack Audio streamer to stream the Bluetooth into all to the channel one and two of the DSP, which gave us double the input voltage. So measuring the output voltage, it looks like the internal Bluetooth to the Diamond Audio was giving us just under a volt. With the pack streamer, we had four volts going into the DSP. So of course, all the amplifiers were able to do full power. Um, bike came out sounding really good. Um, the Since the wiring was done at a rally, it wasn't as neat as it could have been. So we neatened up some of the wires. And uh, this is how it turned out. Check it out. So this is the DD audio kit. It comes with a template, so you can cut the circle. It comes with a sturdy grill. It spaces the woofer back enough to where it won't come in contact. You can see how far the rubber surround is from the lip. You have a good inch, inch and a half, so it won't come in contact. And this is a pretty hefty woofer. This is the Kata Carbon. Uh, the client wanted us to use a DD audio woofer. The reason we didn't is because their woofer is a mid-range. I wanted a woofer that was a true mid-bass, so he went with my recommendation. We used the DD Audio cutting kit that the customer supplied, but we used a Cicada woofer. So a really nice kit. Uh, I don't know why they didn't make this out of plastic. Um, I guess since they coated it, it's gonna make it weather resistant. Uh, I would have preferred to see this made out of plastic, but um, I like the way they cut it out so you don't have to modify the knob. And you have to remove this hardware, install it, cut it, and then once you put the hardware in, it keeps the template from moving up and down. It's a really nice setup, really nice design. And then they have this front fascia that keeps stuff from coming in contact with the woofer. Pretty good setup. And then there's a top plate that Chris is about to install. They put a lot of thought in this design. You can keep your phone here. It's nice soft material on the bottom. And the elastic keeps uh, your stuff from sliding around. You put your keys there. It's a pretty well thought out kit. Now let's see how it sounds. This is the opposite side already installed on the bike. You have the client's Rockford amplifier there. This is a, this is a Road King, so. All the amplifiers have to go in the saddlebag. Pretty good fit and finish on this kit. I'm impressed. So